done. What's up, gents, and welcome to Let's Talk Ties, my YouTube channel where I talk about different tie knots, how to tie them, and the best way to wear them. And today we are talking about the four in hand knot. Just to explain what happened earlier, it's going to be the super fast edition. And I think everyone should learn how to tie a four in hand like this for two reasons. The first one is consistency. The, the, the tie comes out the right length every single time. There's no more like putting it on your neck and then guessing how long or short each inch should be. And then whenever you're done tying it, like the big end's like way too long or like way too short. Uh, the second reason is it saves you a ton of time. Like I almost, almost never have to like retie my tie whenever I tie it like this because like it just comes out right every single time. So it saves you time like that. Also, it you know, instead of tying a tie in like 30 seconds like most people normally do, you get tied in like less than 10, and that's really awesome. So let's get right into how to tie it. All right, so here's how you tie the forehand hand super fast. The first thing you wanna do, you wanna get your hand like this, and you just wanna put your tie on there. This is the front of the big end right here. The next step is to, you. this step here sets the length. So if you look at the way the little end falls with respect to like the big end will determine how long or short the tie is. Like if you set it up with the little end, even with the tie loop, it'll be longer. If you set the little end, even with the end of the big end, it'll be shorter on you. So you just kinda gotta do a little bit of trial and error here and figure out where it falls for you. So after that, you want to grab the big end inside of your arm. You don't wanna come from this side and wrap it around your fingers. You're gonna grab it and like and wrap it around your palm. Like between it should look like this, between the little end and your thumb. After that, you want to get your other hand like this. And this is kind of weird to explain, but like, focus, you got it. You want to grab the little end, and you want to like turn it, turn it around to where like this is the back of the big end. You want to turn it around and make a loop at the same time. And like the part that you're seeing right now is the front of the big end. So, you wanna grab, spin, and make a loop. See, I have a loop here now. Well, you wanna put your, that loop on your fingers. All right, and then after that, this is the part where you actually put it on your neck. So, you have all the stuff on your hand, you wanna grab the little end, put it on your neck, and you grab the little end with your fingers and you just kinda of pull it through everything you just did like that and then here I'm holding everything here you just kind of want to tug on the big end just to kind of give it a little bit of shape so it doesn't like fall off and then you can snug it up to your neck and do the do the fun uh, the finishing touches and you there you go that's the foreign hand super fast all right so here's everything you need to know about the foreign hand knot um, there's not a lot to talk about. There's only one thing I really want to mention, and that is it's slightly asymmetrical. Like if you look at it, it's kind of slanted this way. So since it is asymmetrical, it's technically more casual than like a, a half Windsor or a full Windsor. So since it is more casual, it's my favorite knot to wear, like, like I'm wearing it right now with the top button unbuttoned and the tie loose. But of course you can just wear it, you know, everything buttoned and it snug against your neck and that's perfectly fine. Well, uh, that's the four in hand knot. You know, not nothing crazy. It's like a regular looking knot. You already probably know how to tie it and wear it properly. I just wanted to show you a different way to tie it. So yeah, if you like the video, uh, like it, uh, subscribe if you wanna get more videos, comment on other tie knots you wanna see me do, and I will see you guys in the next video.